So we're going to look at the Russian media monitor and and particularly we're going to see how they value human life. Now, I saw this on Twitter just yesterday or the day before. This gentleman said, a long time ago, I read Marshall Zukov's memoirs in the Moscow Metro. An old Russian guy approached me and asked if I understood the book. I shrugged. He said, every state fights with the resources it has, and this is scary. Russia's resource is people. And he turned away. He taught me a lesson. That's right. Russia is okay with sacrificing their people. In fact, they're almost proud of how many people they sacrifice. That's what they fight with. So when you talk about how many casualties there are or what, Russia just shrugs and says, we'll make more. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll put more onto the field. Not a problem. Okay, here's the Russian media monitor, and we're going to hear what they have to say and unpack things along the way. Here we go. Special thanks to the Russian media monitor. I'm convinced that there is no strategic military solution. This will be a very long road. If you base it on the conception that revenge is eternal, humanity would have ceased to exist long ago. In some sense, revenge is eternal. It always existed. Revenge was always popular as some sort of law. If that was the case, our country would no longer exist, considering hard, bloody events we've had in our lifetime between the people of our own nation. At this point in time, the most difficult thing is there are cons constant references to the tragedy of World War II. So let's stop there. Let's look up World War II Russian losses. World War II Russian losses, about 27 million. World War II losses of the Soviet Union were about 27 million, both civilian and military, from all war-related causes. Although exact figures are disputed, a figure of 20 million was considered official during the Soviet era. Okay, 20 million. Now, wrap your mind around the idea that the Soviets had more losses then pretty much everybody else maybe combined, look at this, the British had 384,000 soldiers killed in combat. Of course, you had some civilian casualties as well because of the Blitz and that kind of thing. Look at uh, American losses in World War II, 400 a thousand, four hundred five thousand. Look at uh, France. France's losses: military deaths, two hundred and seventeen thousand, and total civilian and military in France is five hundred and sixty-seven thousand. Look at uh, German losses. Germany only lost five. 5.5 million military and somewhere between 6 to 8 for total combined civilian and military. Germany only lost 6 to 8 total and Russia lost 20? What's going on? 20 to 27? So something's going on. They don't value human life in the same way. So I think we're getting back to the same thing where every state fights with the resources it has, Russia's resources as people, and that's what they're going to fight with. So now with that, let's look at what he has to say. But the lessons have not been learned. The main lesson about the value of human life has been totally liquidated. So what is there to do? It's difficult, but we should restore international bodies. Which ones? The UN? When we were referring to the UN resolutions, look, we are fulfilling the resolutions of the UN General Assembly on the Ukraine. We aren't abiding by it either. Everyone is spitting on the UN resolutions right now. Either there will be world leaders who will say that all of this has to stop, Otherwise, what we're seeing will keep progressing and growing. Otherwise, it will keep spreading. Can we start returning to the value of human life in our own country to demonstrate that for Russians, it is the most important thing? Well, I don't think you can, because I don't think for Russia, it is the most important thing. He's right. I mean, he's right about what the analysis is, where they need to go, what they need to do, because they really don't value human life like they should. 
Are we poorly demonstrating? We're demonstrating it poorly. We're demonstrating the opposite. So it's our fault. Am I understanding you correctly? No, you're not understanding me correctly. I thought you said that we're showing a bad example. We should exemplify the value of human life. Aren't we showing a good example to the army of Israel? The way that we're conducting our special operation? Aren't people dying there? You're talking about the magnitude. I'm talking about the value of every human life. What you're saying is just demagogy. Just like Senator Lindsey Graham. Except you're a decent man, not a bedbug like him. <laughs> but you're saying things that have no impact and are impossible to f fulfill. You just have a set of little wings. If they're impossible to realize, the planet would have stopped existing long ago. Nicolay, did you come here wearing a white coat? And if you want everyone to show up covered in blank, Ivan Truskin will keep attacking Nicolay. But we'll be back later to discuss another interesting aspect. Okay, so that's as far as that little clip went. Notice how nobody got behind the idea that human life was important. Like he was making a valuable point about the value of human life. And they were like, That's, that can't work. It's almost like people thinking about, you know, slaughtering farm animals. Well, you know, you have to slaughter the farm animals. What are you going to do? It's not like you got to care for the cow. Okay. But again, look at the numbers. 27 million as opposed to 40 thousand civilians and 348 for the British, about 400,000, about 400,000 for the Americans, about 500,000 total for the French, 567,000, uh, and only 5 million for Germany, but Russia lost 27 million, 20, more than 20 million, and they're proud of it. They're desperately proud of their losses. I think they, it's not only that they value human life, it's almost like a some kind of Nietzschean death wish or something. I mean, Freudian, I don't remember which it was, but it's, like, it's almost like they, they want to show that they have spent lots of blood. And it's just mind boggling. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you here. Uh, there's something very different culturally in Russia about the way that they value human life. I'm not sure that I fully understand it. If you know, put it in the comments below. Let's talk about this. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the attention, the likes, the shares, the subscribes. And thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.